Technology is a powerful force that has helped shape and define human life since the very beginning. Yet new technology often comes with environmental and public health costs, hence the need for safety testing and oversight. Organizations around the world are providing public oversight and education about current plans to implement a vast, never-before-seen network of 5G wireless connectivity on land and in space. While many have seen advertisements promoting 5G's speedy wireless capacities connecting everything and everyone, and promises that these smart technologies will provide a renewable energy future, scientific research and environmental advocacy efforts shows the opposite of what these profit-driven industries promise, with hundreds of scientists, climate change activists, and public health experts demanding a moratorium on the rollout of these wireless technologies. On land, we have 4G, 5G cell towers bringing unprecedented levels of wireless radiation that will connect with the tens of thousands of satellites in the skies, leading to never-before-seen levels of energy consumption and e-waste, growing concerns about privacy and cybersecurity, and countless studies of the negative impact that these artificial man-made frequencies have on our health. 5G is a massive biological experiment inflicted on the public without informed consent, with no prior safety testing, and with credible scientific evidence indicating this technology will prove harmful to health and potentially fatal to some. The billions of dollars being poured into all of this infrastructure now includes the emerging Internet of Underwater Things, a network of wireless underwater communications comprised of sensors, fiber, sonar, laser, optical light, autonomous and remote controlled vehicles, submarines, torpedoes, cameras, drones, robots, and more, all now being unleashed into the pristine underwater world. Impacted by this are the millions of species for whom the ocean is home and the diverse deep sea ecosystems that sustain all life on this planet. The commercial sector would use it for mining for minerals, seismic drilling for oil and gas, commercial shipping, and recreational travel. For the research community, the smart ocean would be used to gather data for monitoring weather, climate change, wildlife, and so on. And for the military, a smart ocean would help with new plans for 21st century military warfare, with the rollout of various technologies including stealth underwater vehicles, underwater testing of weapon systems, torpedoes, anti-torpedo defense systems, seismic air guns, and container ships. Most underwater wireless communications rely on sonar, which for decades has been known to greatly harm whales and other marine animals who communicate by means of sonar. Sonar is known to cause deafness, beaching, and death in whales. And beyond the suffering and harm to these majestic creatures, their loss to our ecosystem will profoundly affect efforts to combat climate change. A whale absorbs huge amounts of carbon, which upon death is buried at the bottom of the ocean. Each great whale sequesters approximately 33 tons of carbon. In addition, whale's fecal plumes provide optimal conditions for phytoplankton, which produce well over half the oxygen on the planet, and are responsible for most of the carbon transferred from the atmosphere to the ocean. Furthermore, critical for all these technologies are the rare earth minerals found in abundance at the bottom of the ocean floor and in land-based mines, such as those found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo where nearly 6 million people have died in that area due to inhumane and harsh working conditions mining for these minerals, and where tens of thousands of children work in these mines. These are casualties of a war financed primarily by the electronics industry and their appetite for rare earth minerals used in all technology. With all of the claims for a more interconnected and futuristic world fueled by wireless technologies that promise to save the Earth, the paradox is that we cannot destroy the Earth to save the Earth. Why add this level of exploitation to the already long list of environmental calamities facing humanity and life itself? 
Why not put our money and efforts in addressing issues that will support the sustainability and longevity of our living planet? Thankfully, many environmental organizations, scientists, and activists are working to change the current political and cultural mindset that relies on profit, dominance, and exploitation. Solutions and alternatives that are in service to Earth serve as a glimmer of hope and possibility. Yet who is listening? Earth can no longer sustain our violent, competitive, extractive mindset. We must open to a change of consciousness if we are to survive. Perhaps it is time we pivot from an ocean of technology aimed at maintaining dominance to an ocean of consciousness aimed toward embracing our interdependence on one another and all living beings and aimed toward finding creative, holistic solutions to the global challenges that we face.